Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Infosys System Engineer on campus hiring is ongoing for 2026 batch students. So in this particular video, I will be discussing the actual logical reasoning questions which were asked recently in the Infosys exam. Okay, so guys around 8 to 10 questions I will be discussing in this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end because same type of questions might be asked from you in your exam as well. Okay, and guys on our YouTube channel, there is a preparation series going on for Infosys wherein we have already posted six videos for different different sections that will be asked from you. Okay, more such videos I will continue to post here. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you do not miss any update on this channel. Okay. If you have any doubts regarding anything, you can always write in the comment section or you can join this telegram group. It's dedicated for 2026 batch students. And guys also do let me know that when is your Infosys system engineer exam scheduled so that I can continue to make more such preparation videos. So guys now let's start the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button before moving ahead. So now let's start with the first question. Okay so guys the first question is who is the mother of B? So you are given some statements and based on that statement you need to find this answer. So P and Q are sisters. So P and Q are sisters. Q's husband is the brother of B's husband. So Q's husband is the brother of B's husband. So by using these two statement, statements, can we tell that who is the mother of B? So there is no such statement in which we can tell that who is the mother of B. So answer of here will be data in both the statement together are not sufficient. So correct answer is 4. This is the correct option. Okay, so you just need to analyze both the statements and then you need to find that whether we can answer the question that is asked or not. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the next question. Now see, in certain code, paper is written as, okay, paper is written as Q, P, A, R, E. So following the similar pattern, how will be the table written? So now, if you will look closely, let's just first compare first letters, paper with Q. So P and Q. So we know that P plus 1 is equivalent to Q. Okay, this is simple. P plus 1 is equivalent to Q. Now next is A. So A and P, what is the relation between A and P? Nothing. What is the relation between P and A? Nothing. What is the relation between E and R? Nothing. What is the relation between R and E? Nothing. But if you will look closely, you will find the pattern. That for first letter, we were able to do plus 1. But then all the pair of 2 were reversed. So AP become PA, ER become RE. So similarly, we will follow the pattern here only that for the first letter, we will do plus one. Okay, so plus one, what will, uh, what will plus one become? Uh, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. So first letter will become T plus one U. Then A, B will be shuffled. It will be B, A. Then L, E will be shuffled to E, L. So U, B, A, E, L. That is fourth option. So this is the correct option. I hope this question is also clear to you. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mate page of Code Bashers, we have Infosys System Engineer Preparation Material. Inside this material, we have covered all the sections that will be coming in your exam. For all those sections, Infosys actual previously asked questions are there for these sections. Whether it is the aptitude section, logical reasoning sections, verbal ability, pseudocodes, puzzle, English grammar questions. At least 100 plus questions for each and every section previously asked actually in Infosys are there. Okay, if I will show you the sample of let's suppose the logical reasoning PDF, you can see here we have the proper question, the options and the correct answer. For every question we have the uh, options and we have the correct answer for it. Similarly, in the aptitude PDF, you can see we have the question, option, correct answer. Pseudocode also, we have proper pseudocodes and with their correct answer. Similarly, with the puzzle also, we have the lot of puzzles that were actually asked in Infosys with their correct answers. So if you think that this material can help you, which according to me will because the best way to prepare for any exam is by solving the previously asked questions of it. So the link of this material I will give you in the I button or in the description box Do check it out. So now let's continue with the video. Okay, now let's move towards the next question. In a certain code, army is written as ASOP. So here it is army. It is written as a sob. Okay. Now, how will be judge written? So judge is like this. How will judge be written? So first of all, 
what is the pattern between army and a sop so here a plus what will be give a so a plus 0 will give a r plus what will give s so r plus 1 will give s m plus 2 will give o because m and o y plus 3 that is y z a b so y plus 3 will give us b so if you can see the pattern here is for the first letter 0 is getting added for the second letter 1 then uh, 2 then 3 similar pattern we will follow here so plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so j plus 0 will be j u plus 1 will be v okay d plus 2 will be f g plus 3 will be j and e plus 4 will be e f g h i okay it will be i so j v f g i j v f g i so this is the correct answer for this particular option or for this particular question i hope this is this question also clear to you now okay so yeah now the next question is find the next number in the series 13 17 19 23 29 so what is the pattern in this series if you will look closely you can find that 13 is a prime number 17 is a next prime number next prime number is 19 next prime number is 23 then 29 and then what is the next prime number from 29 it will be 31 so the answer will be straightforward it will be 31 okay i hope now this question is also clear to you guys do write in the comment section that when is your infosys system engineer exam scheduled so that i can make more such preparation videos okay yeah so now the next question is pointing to a woman in a photograph ram says she is the only daughter of mother-in-law of my only son okay so for my son see so here is his son she is the only daughter of the mother-in-law of my only son so mother-in-law of my son okay so his mother-in-law now he is pointing to a she so she is the only daughter so she is the only daughter of his son's mother-in-law okay so his son's mother-in-law and he is the only daughter so they both son and the daughter he is pointing to is married okay so now how is the woman related to ram so ram's son's mother-in-law was his daughter so it means that ram and that woman who to whom he is pointing he they are daughter-in-law the relation is daughter-in-law i hope this particular uh, blood relation is clear to you it's it's very simple you can just build the charts the based on information that is given to you and it will be really simple okay i hope this question is clear to you <clears throat> now next question is again based on statements and conclusion so statements will be given to you and conclusion so based on the statement which conclusion are true you need to tell first of all all crows are foxes okay so whenever these type of questions come try to draw the venn diagram venn diagram is best way to solve these type of questions so all the crows if there are crows they are in a circle so all the crows are foxes so this is how the venn diagram will look like this is foxes now next you see here all the crows are foxes but not all foxes are crows okay this is one thing next is all the cats are jaguar and some cats are crows also so all the cats are jaguar oh sorry all the cats are jaguar and some cats are crow so it means there is some intersection between crow and cat so some cats are crows so this is one of the intersection so this is cats okay this is cats and all the cats are jaguar all the cats again are jaguar so this will be something like this now you have made the venn diagram okay now you have made the venn diagram now let's see what are the conclusions some jaguars are crow see some cats are jaguar okay oh sorry all the cats are jaguar and some cats are crow it means some jaguars are also crow this is the first statement that is correct some foxes are jaguars yes because see some cats are crows all the crows are foxes so it means and all the cats are jaguars so it means some foxes are jaguar there will be intersection this intersection we are talking about so some foxes are jaguars that is also correct you can make your own venn diagram and the things will become more clear but the best way to solve these type of questions is by drawing the venn diagram only okay next is some crows are jaguars so some crows are jaguar yes because some crows will be cats and all cats are jaguar 
so therefore some crows will be jaguar also so this statement is also true so the correct option is the second one that uh, all the statements all the conclusions are following i hope this question is also clear to you now let's move towards the next question in row of trees a tree is seventh from the left okay from the left if i talk about it is seventh okay and 14th from the right so from the right it is 14th so it means see this will be a bit confusing for you see what will happen from the right this particular tree is 14th so it means including this tree how many total trees are there on the right it is 14 now this tree is 7th from the left but since we have included this tree in this uh, below one so how many trees are before this tree to the left it they are six okay because it was the seventh one so it is sixth so six plus 14 is equal to 20 so answer is 20 i hope this question is clear to you okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mate page of code bashers we have infosys system engineer preparation material inside this material we have covered all the sections that will be coming in your exam for all those sections, Infosys actual previously asked questions are there for these sections. Whether it is the aptitude section, logical reasoning sections, verbal ability, pseudocodes, puzzle, English grammar questions. At least 100 plus questions for each and every section previously asked actually in Infosys are there. Okay, if I will show you the sample of let's suppose the logical reasoning PDF. You can see here we have the proper question, the options and the correct answer. For every question we have the uh, options and we have the correct answer for it similarly in the aptitude pdf you can see we have the question option correct answer pseudocode also we have proper pseudocodes and with their correct answer similarly with the puzzle also we have the lot of puzzles that were actually asked in infosys with their correct answers so if you think that this material can help you which according to me will because the best way to prepare for any exam is by solving the previously asked questions of it so the link of this material i will give you in the i button or in the description box do check it out so now let's continue with the video now the next question is on march 5 1999 the, uh, the day was friday what day of the week was on march 5 2000 now i see today there is one day okay on 5th march 99 it was friday on 5th march 20 uh, 2000 what it will be if we talk about a normal year then it means it has 365 days on the normal year so it means that if the next year is not a leap year is not a leap year then on the same day next year it will be saturday but 2000 is a leap year so it means there is one day extra and it was feb 29 so be be before march 5 only it was feb 29 so the day will be plus one so friday was this so this will become sunday so correct answer is sunday i hope this question is clear to you the logic is clear to you okay now the last question of this video is six friends were sitting around a circular table so let's just draw a circular table of six friends something like this it will be drawing okay now these are the Amar, Kiran, Jitu, Heman, Dhawan and Manji. These are six friends name. Jitu is sitting two places to the left of Amar. So let's suppose Amar is sitting here. Now Amar is facing this word. So left of two pl places left of Amar. So two places left of Amar is this one. So Jitu is placed here. Okay. Next. Jitu is sitting two places to the left of Amar. Who is sitting opposite to Kiran? So Amar is opposite to Kiran. So Kiran will be here. I hope this is clear to you. If Dhawan and Manjit are opposite to each other, so Dhawan might be here and Manjit might be here. If these two are opposite to each other, who is sitting left to Jitu? So they are all sitting in circular. So this is the face on which they are sitting. Okay. So who is left of Jitu? So Jitu's left is Kiran. Okay. Jitu's left is Kiran. So answer will be Kiran. I hope this question is also clear to you. So guys, around total 10 questions we discussed of logical reasoning of different different topics, okay, in this particular video. I hope you liked the video. Please write in the comment section that when is your Infosys exam and for which particular section you want videos. I will be happy to make it. And as I have told you in earlier videos, 
in uh, that on our top mid page of code bashers we have infosys system engineer preparation material in which all the sections that will be coming in your exam so for all all those sections actual previously asked questions are there and best way to prepare for any exam is by solving the previously asked questions if you are interested the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment do check out this material and do join this telegram group because it's dedicated for 2026 batch students thank you for watching this video